I think music always has no context, whether it's even, even if it's dance music um, or whatever. And I mean, great pop music is always listened to in some sort of context. So people's people's either parting down at the beach, you know, in this sort of American tradition, or music is listened to in the work situation. Or music is listened just to get away from everything. And, and it is, it's not, it's not in some kind of vacuum, you know. And I think that that's where the music goes wrong, you know, when people start going off and spinning. <laughs> I'm about to do this, by the way, spend six months now, six months on some island making their music, you know, and come back and, and, you, and you get, you hear these records on the radio and you think, you know, where did this come from? It's, it's not come from here, it's not, it's not here. Which is really nice in, because in Scotland at the moment, it seems to be a lot, that a lot of Scottish bands are quite popular. You know? I think it's quite different up here to, to a lot of places down south. A sense of place is a very two-edged thing because obviously your music is going to end up in Australia, something like that. And, I mean, I think ours has gone out in Japan. So it begins to become meaningless to you. If you start thinking, well, I've got to write a song and it's going to go out in Japan, I think you'd lose the place altogether. You couldn't do that. Um, but you do write, I think I do write, and, and people do write within a place and that affects them. So in that sense, uh, our last set of songs were, were all written here and about here. And I, and I could see them in my own head happening here. For me, it was important. I don't, I don't didn't want to drum it into people that that was what they had to. They had to sort of listen to it on on Walkman walking along Argyle Street.